rail is an efficient form of transit serving thousands of people who travel to work, school, and entertainment every day. Baltimore's 29-mile system extends from Hunt Valley in Baltimore County to BWI Marshall Airport in Anne Arundel County. Daily commuters and visitors have embraced this system, which conveniently connects them to locations like Oriole Park at Camden Yards, the M&T Bank Stadium, home of the Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens, and employment centers in Baltimore County, Baltimore City, and Anne Arundel County. The Maryland Transit Administration, MTA, prides itself in maintaining a system that is safe and convenient. One of the most important aspects of the system is the vehicles that carry riders to their important destinations. Light rail vehicles are quiet, safe, and comfortable because of the work that is done to maintain the vehicles at central light rail operations and maintenance facilities. This tour will allow you to see what happens inside this very important aspect of the transit system. While planning continues for the facility specific to the Baltimore Red Line, this virtual tour focuses on existing facilities in the Baltimore area. It is important that the light rail vehicles are properly maintained for the safety of our riders, employees, and for the overall efficient operation of the system. We want our vehicles to arrive on time and operating efficiently. Light rail trains make thousands of trips per day, and like any other vehicles, regular maintenance helps to prevent breakdowns. This is the critical work that happens at the operations and maintenance facilities. Baltimore's newest facility was opened in 2003 at the Cromwell Station in Glen Burnie. The original light rail maintenance facility at North Avenue in Baltimore City opened in 1992 when Central Light Rail Service began. Both of these locations keep our light rail system moving. The light rail vehicles and other system components need a place to be cleaned, repaired, maintained and inspected in a location central to the service line. All of this goes on inside the operations and maintenance facility. Here you see MTA employees involved in these critical services. Repairs and routine maintenance happen daily. Vehicles are inspected weekly. They are also washed regularly. Additionally, the repair and maintenance of system repair vehicles are handled at the facility. These vehicles not only travel the track to service light rail cars, they also support the maintenance of overhead wires and the track itself. And again, all of these vehicles, the actual cars persons ride on, and the maintenance vehicles are thoroughly maintained inside the operations and maintenance facility. While vehicles are stored outside, even when they're on, they are quiet and produce no pollution at all. Inside the building, a high ceiling allows employees to work on the roofs of the vehicles. And because the facility operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, lots of windows allow ample natural light. And again, because the largest percentage of the work happens inside, noise is kept at a minimum. The work that goes on inside the facility is virtually invisible to the surrounding community, but critical to the operation of the system. Operation and maintenance facilities are designed to blend into their surrounding communities. Consideration is given to the type of building materials, the scale and height of the structures, signage and lighting to serve as guideposts to pedestrians and vehicle traffic in the area. Fencing and landscaping, signage and low-profile lighting poles keep the site attractive and safe as well as helping it blend into the neighborhood. Take a look at some of the exterior aspects of the North Avenue facility. Again, from the building structure to signage and landscaping, the MTA is sensitive to the communities that surround these critical facilities. They serve several audiences, commuters, MTA employees, and communities. This is an aerial view of the North Avenue facility. Again, vehicles, tracks, and other rail system components are stored inside the building that can service multiple light rail trains at a time. The North Avenue location also houses light rail's administrative function. The power substation is located here, and the site also provides parking and site access for employees. The MTA must provide quality maintenance service for light rail vehicles and respond quickly to train and track problems, thereby improving reliability and reducing downtime. A quality operations and maintenance facility helps the MTA achieve this goal.